another day another problem so let's solve it hello guys i hope you are all doing well in this video we're gonna solve the problem inverse binary tree so let's get started the problem is that they give you a root of binary tree and they ask you to invert the tree and an inversion or mirror of a binary tree is just a binary tree whose left and right children are swapped for example if we have a tree that look like this after the inversion it should look like this so to solve this problem we're going to use my favorite technique the deep first search algorithm or recursive pre-order traversal means we're going to visit the current node then recursively call itself on the left shell and finally recursively call itself on the right shell and swap them so the steps are easy to solve this problem here is how recursion gonna work under the hood for this solution even if you have problem with recursion you're gonna see how it's gonna work so the first thing we're gonna do is to initialize two variable to keep storing the children of the current row the left gonna store the left children 2 and the right gonna store the right children 7 then recursively we're gonna call the invert tree function on the right child 7 and set the current root to be 7 and store their children left and right say, means 6 and 9 then another time recursively call the invert tree function and the right children 9 so here we have no more children so what are we gonna do is to return none and then recursively call the invert tree function in the left child of the current root 9 which is six so here it's gonna also return none because there is no more node then we return the root to the right children that called the two children which is seven and swap the left and the right children six and nine and goes back to the first root that called all those function which is four and we set the left children to be the seven so i'm gonna keep it like that so you don't got so you don't get lost during the explanation after i finish i'm gonna swap them the second step is that we're gonna call the invert tree function recursively on the left children and assign the returned value to the right child of the current node so here is how it's gonna work under the hood so here the function invert tree gonna be called recursively in the left child 2 and we store the value in the left and right variable then we call it again with the root tree so here is there is no more children so return none and call the left children also there is no more children we return none then we return to the root means the left children that's called the two children which is two and swap the left and the right children one and three then finally we're going back to the node with the value four with all this work that we have done and we swap the right children to the left children and this is how it will turn out in the end that's it guys i try to simplify the explanation to the most possible way hope that's helped so let's jump as code in the solution the first thing we do is to set a base case which is if there is no children we return none then we initialize two variable left and right that keep track of the children node After that, it recursively called the invert tree on the right child and assigned the return to the left children of the root. Next, we call again the function invert tree recursively on the left child and assign its value on the right children of the root. Then finally, we return the root. So the time complexity of the solution is often where n is the number of nodes in the tree because we are visiting each node in the tree for the space complexity is of h because the input binary tree is a full binary tree where h is the height of the tree but in the worst case when we have a skewed tree and the height is n the space complexity gonna be of n but in the best case where the tree is a complete balanced tree the space complexity gonna be of log n thanks for watching see you in the next video